COVID-19 vaccine is available, I will not allow the traditional face-to-face -face teaching or learning unless the risk of exposure to the sickness and are eliminated. I cannot and will not put to rest the health and lives of our students and teachers. I request that you confer on the candidates, my dear completers for 2021. Of our fondest memories and the birthplace of the future. Cagayan State University continues to soar high as it provides quality instruction, innovative and creative research, responsive public service, and productive industry and community engagement. This is Cagayan State University, raising the bar of education in the province. In instruction, Cagayan State University has held a strong program in medical technology, and is also known as the national top performing school in the Philippines for four consecutive years. It is also the number one respiratory therapy school in the Philippines, garnering a consistently high passing rate since the year 2017. CSU also records high passing rates for electrical engineer and physician licensure examination. We also have strong programs in agriculture and fisheries, information and computing sciences, veterinary medicine, education, English language and communication, as well as in arts and sciences to ensure that each of the student's potential competency is catered. Harnessing the potential of the region, each of its eight campuses is working on developing its own niche-based research, extension, and production programs. This also enhances the business potential of the province's resources and provides livelihood opportunity to the community. As an essential producer of knowledge, the university also ensures informed action by investing on research. This is attested by the implementation of a total of 1,222 researches since 2017 and the publication of 241 researches in academic journals. In 2019, 480 faculty members of CSU are also involved in research with the aim of uniting theory and practice. Moreover, Cagayan State University is in pursuit of raising its education to international standards 
with the aim of providing world-class education to the Kakayano youth. It is now an official associate member of the ASEAN University Network, which provides linkage to other ASEAN universities. CSU has also benefited from the assistance of the Canadian Executive Service Organization and the Peace Corps volunteer who have oriented, assisted, and taught various approaches and technologies to the varying concerns of the university, including land use mapping, acreage optimization, apiculture, and fisheries technology. CSU's great leap in improving infrastructure in the different campuses allows students to have a more convenient and conducive learning environment. Kagayan State University will always be dedicated to serve in the best interest of the Kagayano youth by taking on big strides to promote the advancement of science and technology in the province for the benefit of the citizens and make sure that students are provided with purposeful and relevant education. CSU will always be committed to produce skilled professionals who will lead the future with perseverance and integrity. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 43rd Academic Convocation for the Conferment of Degrees and Titles of the Cagayan State University Carig Campus. Joining the procession are the purveyors of truth and light, the fear and competent members of the Faculty of Instruction of CSU Carig Campus, the College Dean. Professor Brian P. Lacambra, College of Industrial Technology. Dr. Henerino P. Sibdayao, College of Information and Computing Sciences. Dr. Chita C. Ramos, College of Human Kinetics. Dr. Jane R. Sambrana, College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Odi R. Quebral, College of Engineering and Architecture. Dr. Brian Jerome Bassi, College of Veterinary Medicine. Dr. Noeline O. Bernal, College of Medicine. Dr. Dennis M. Bakuyag, Graduate School and College of Public Administration. Our campus officials, Professor Dennis B. Policar, Campus Director for Partnership and Resource Mobilization. Engineer Policarpio Elma Borang Jr., Campus Director for Research Development and Extension. Dr. Ma Heidi A. Maborang, Campus Director for Academic Affairs. Dr. Arthur G. Ibanez, Campus Executive Officer. And our university officials, Dr. Junel D. Guzman, Vice President for Research, Development, and Extension. Reverend Father Ranhilio C. Aquino, 
Vice President for Administration and Finance. Dr. Mariden V. Kawilan, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Edison D. Bravo, Campus Registrar. Dr. Urdua G. Alvarado, CESO II, our University President. Please stand to give honor to the flag of the Republic of the Philippines. To lead us the doxology is the Timpuyog the Aguila Choir to be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem and CSU Hymn. Which one? 
I'm there to make you smile on a rainy day. They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy. They can say, they can say I've lost my mind. I've lost my mind. I don't care, I don't care if they call me crazy We can live in a world that we desire Cause every night I lie in bed The mother's gonna spill my hair A million dreams are keeping me It's gonna take so it's gonna take a million dreams for the world we're gonna make however big however small let me be part of it all share your dreams with me we may be right we may be wrong but I wanna bring you along to the world I Our eyes to see. If night I lie in bed, the brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams are keeping me away. A million dreams, a million dreams. I think of what the world could be. A vision of the one I see. A million dreams is all it's gonna take. A million dreams for the world we're gonna make. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ang mga kawin 
The Campus Executive Officer will now present the candidates for the degrees and titles and deliver his address of petition. Madam President and members of the Board of Regents, I present the 571 candidates for graduation from CSU Carrick Campus broken down as follows. Graduate School, Doctor in Public Administration, one, Doctor of Philosophy in Psychology, one, Master of Public Administration, 36, Master of Arts in Physical Education, two, College of Arts and Sciences, Bachelor of Science in Biology, 36, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, nine, College of Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering, 4. Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, 69. Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, 4. College of Human Kinetics, BPE, Major in Sports and Wellness Management, 9. College of Information in Computing Sciences, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, 1. Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, 114. College of Public Administration, Bachelor of Public Administration, ITAYAP, 52. College of Industrial Technology, BSIT, Major in Drafting Technology, 13. BSIT, Major in Automotive Technology, 18. BSIT, Major in Food Technology, 24. BSIT, Major in Mechanical Technology, 21. BSIT, Major in Refrigeration, and Air Conditioning Technology, 1. Two-year certificate, major in refrigeration and air conditioning, 1. College of Veterinary Medicine, Doctor of Veterinary Medicine, 18. College of Medicine, Doctor of Medicine, 137. For a total, of 571. As Campus Executive Officer of CSU Cari Campus, I certify that they have complied with the college policies relative to the conferment of the degrees and titles they seek and have been certified by the college and campus academic councils as to their eligibility to graduate. I respectfully request that you confer upon them the respective degrees and titles. Mr. Campus Executive Officer, do you attest that the course of study they have pursued is compliant with the standards of this university and relevant rules, regulations, and laws of the Republic of the Philippines? I so attest, Madam Vice President, has their formation in our university prepared them to live fulfilling and productive lives and to take their place as participative members of Filipino and global society? I so attest, Madam Vice President. Madam President, as the Vice President for Academic Affairs of Pagayan State University, I request that you confer on the candidates the degrees and titles for which by the certification of the respective deans and by the endorsement of their campus executive officer and the university academic council, they have qualified. Madam President, for your conferment.
by the authority vested in me by the Cagayan State University Board of Regents, I, Urduha Gerlan Alvarado, University President of Cagayan State University, do hereby concede to you the degrees and titles you have petitioned, granting you the appellation of graduates of the Cagayan State University and giving you all the rights pertinent to your degrees and titles. Congratulations. It is now time for the nomination of graduates and awarding of diploma by the college deans. As the Dean of College of Industrial Technology, I have the honor to present to you the 78 graduates of five majors of Bachelor of Science in Industrial Technology. Bachelor of Science in Industrial Technology, major in Architectural Drafting Technology. Agpalasin Alvin J. Antonio Jessica P. Ballesteros Raymart D. De Leon Robinson C. Caliedo Brian F. Juan Ariel M. Lorenzo Felimar B. Miguel Baby Rose R. Molina Jose Jr. J. Ramos Joey H. Tagibao Rayan Victor R. Tangonan Michael L. Tupil Romir M. Bachelor of Science in Industrial Technology, Major in Automotive Technology. Bata Raymark C. Beroy Francis G. Kabalwan Darren M. Kabalza Alexis G. Kaleda Dexter C. Kaligiran Lito S. Konag Jake B. Dantes Jefferson N. Hinlo Kriskin B. Lazo Darwin T. Orbe Cyril Joy E. Orpilia Carl Adam E. Pamitan Michael C. Pascual Hans Dexter D. Telan Ian Dave B. Tumaliwan Neil A. Valenzuela Regino D. Velancio Romel C. Bachelor of Science in Industrial Technology, Major in Food Technology. Abuyuan Christian Fay Mayo P. Apostol Josa N. Baturi Julie A. Kadusho Edeline B. Kalayan Hermina C. Castillo Marcena Ruby B. Tansel Michiko Gail M. De La Cruz Zane P. Diniega Yolanda N. Durwin Devi A. Galo Angelica P. Langkai Claire Angeli 
C. Mata Novella May M. Meeting Queenie Ann B. Pagaduan Margeline J. Perez Margie V. Salamero Elizel A. Sugitan Raymark C. Suyu Jericho T. Tabing Bernie Grace S. Talaro Linalin B. Tega Erin S. Valdez Geraldine C. Valdez Rosanne T. Bachelor of Science in Industrial Technology, Major in Mechanical Technology. Aduro Danilo L. Agkawili Charivin D. Agkawili Clinton D. Cabal Christopher G. Claveria Jack B. Dalumay John Paul S. Fernandez Ronnie S. Perer Aaron James Q. Gazmen Joel B. Gazmen Joey B. Gumuhid Haivik A. Lucas John Paul B. Mabatan John Ray T. Pasol Francisco III P. Paz Leo C. Ramos Chris Paul T. Sarenas Eugene C. Taginod Sidilon M. Talamayan Danilo V. Tandingan Jerome L. Torado Louis James P. Bachelor of Science in Industrial Technology, Major in Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Technology. Valiente Kimbert B. Two-year certificate, Major in Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Technology. Butai Christopher B. Congratulations, graduates! Reverend Father Ranhilio C. Aquino, our Vice President for Administration and Finance, will now deliver his message. To the graduates of the Cagayan State University, Academic Year 2020-2021, the Vice President for Administration and Finance should really have nothing to say during commencement exercises. His work is in the background. He sees to it that all financial and fiscal matters and the performance of the human resource component of the university make your graduation possible. But I asked President Jay for this privilege because this is the last ceremony of the kind that I shall attend at Cagayan State University. This time next year, I shall no longer be part of the university since retirement shall have compelled me to leave office. Do not consider yourselves unfortunate 
because the pandemic caught up with you and you graduate under the ominous cloud of COVID-19. You are, in fact, a unique breed, a resilient batch, graduates who have overcome the odds and have allowed yourselves and your university to break new ground. For the first time in the history of the university, instruction was delivered online, both through the platforms made available by the web and also by printed modules. Of course, there were many glitches, many shortcomings, but when you blaze a trail, you do not expect the road to be smooth and paved. You blazed a trail, you and your professors, and for that, you will be remembered. I conclude by thanking President Urduha G. Alvarado. I was the fortunate beneficiary of her respect, regard, her courtesy, kindness, and generosity. Rare is the woman in whom you find nerves of steel, but a heart that warmly beats with compassion. Because she allowed me to, I was able to introduce changes in the administrative and financial structures of the university that I hope will be a contribution that will endure after I am gone. I thank my office mates who made work in my office not only efficient and productive, but who transformed my office into a happy place, a place of fond memories as well. You shall always be my friends. May the Cagayan State University be the fount of our vision and the cradle of our dreams the treasure trove of our fondest memories and the birthplace of the future. We now come to the moment when the mother of this institution gives her final message to the academic community members, especially to the members of Batch 2021. Please welcome Dr. Urdua G. Alvarado Seso II for her charge to the graduates. My dear completers for 2021, your last school year may not be how you expected it to be. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused a total shift from our way of living. Our ability to make physical connections, a privilege we used to enjoy, no longer applies. This is an experience that is not only encountered by us, but is an experience that is common to the whole world. This is one that we never saw coming or prepared for. However, this did not deter us from showing our CSU trademark. My warmest and sincerest congratulations goes out to you, my dear graduates of BATS 2021. I saw the determination of each and every one of you to make it despite all odds. This situation did not deter your spirit. You accepted the challenges with your head held high. You have courageously fought through the ups and downs of flexible learning. It may have looked like a long and winding road, but that was never a sign to stop. We discovered new ways of learning and connecting with each other and to the communities you belong to. In this memorable year of piloting through a new mode of education, we embrace the journey of learning and growing. Crisis after crisis dared us this year and you responded. You took action. You educated others and yourselves. Now, here you are. You did not just survive. You have thrived and flourished 
all the way to the finish line. It is my honor and pride to congratulate all of you today as you end your time in the university to mark your commencement into the world as proud graduates of Cagayan State University. On this day, we recognize and celebrate all that you have accomplished and demonstrated in pursuit of knowledge and the unbeatable persistence and spirit you have exuded to be a step closer to the future you have inspired. My dear graduates, remember that your faith, your dedication, and commitment has brought you here and will surely take you to places in the future. Like you, Cagayan State University went through challenges, yet it remains firm as an independent institution that is dedicated to its core vision of becoming a university with global stature in the arts, culture, agriculture, and fisheries, the sciences as well as the technological and professional fields. CSU has managed to be a three-star rated university by the QS Stars rating system. It has also become an associate member of the ASEAN University Network Quality Assurance, or the AUNQA. CSU College of Teacher Education is also ISO certified and a top six university in terms of percentage of accredited programs by the accrediting agency of chartered colleges and universities in the Philippines, or the AACU. This international and national accreditations are a step towards ensuring the conformity of the university to national and international standards to guarantee that students get the best possible education. The university has grown together with you through the years, and I am proud to be part of this community with you. This community which you will always be an important part of. The world may look different now. The usual ways may no longer apply. Learn to keep adapting. Change, after all, is the only constant thing in the world. The pandemic has brought so many challenges and obstacles to overcome, but it has also brought with it undeniable breakthroughs that tested our ability to be innovative and flexible. See it as a chance to reimagine our world. The world we know may be long gone, but the world ahead of us is yet to be discovered and created. Only you can make that happen. Take the lessons and experiences you learned over the years or your stay in CSU as a student into a world that is characterized by daunting challenges and take little steps to make it a better place. Live your life with nothing but love for others, commitment to your chosen passion, and service to your community. This point forward is where your journey truly begins. Trust that you are ready. No matter which path you choose to take, Cagayan State University is and will always be proud of you. Again, my warmest congratulations to you, BATS 2021. The world is now your stage. Go, take it. Mr. Richie Rivera, graduate of Doctor of Public Administration, will now speak on behalf of the members of Batch 2021. Aristotle tells us that we are the sum of our actions and motivation. His words resonate with me personally 
That's why you and I are here today. On a personal ground, things happen and things start to arise when your faith rises. Our existence at Kagyan State University has a reason, and such reason is for us to discover. After all, we were prepared enough by this university to rise above others. Respectable Dr. Urduha G. Alvarado, the president of the Cagayan State University, whose integrity is beyond reproach and unblemish. Equally respectable vice presidents, at whose commands have made all the visions of the school transformed into realities. Campus Executive Officer Engineer Arthur G. Ibanez, the man of wisdom, whose own style differentiates his authenticity and character. Deans of the different colleges, professors, faculty and staff, who remain persistent to mold the students amidst the odds brought by the pandemic. Proud and prepared graduates who are able to conquer their fears and transform into strengths. Beloved parents, from who we owe our success and at all times understand our failures. Ladies and gentlemen, amazing evening. January 2018, I signified and tried my luck to apply for scholarship offered by the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, the office where I am connected since 2002. I took the qualifying exam got interviewed at central office, and luckily became one of the recipients of BFAR scholarship. But prior to that, I had this dilemma of what course to take. I was half decided whether I will take up LLB or public administration, since these two courses are offered by the scholarship aside from fisheries course. Since I am a middle manager, it made me decide to take up public administration, since this field will help leaders serve communities to advance the common good and effect positive change. In an agency which is highly technical field, it is not enough that you are technically equipped. But as a manager, you should also be armed in handling your human resources. I took what interests me, and I paid the price. As I made my journey being a civil servant for years, and into where I am now, to which most of my goals have been fulfilled, not to be deterred by naysayers, but to enthusiastically work at achieving. It's good to finally be at graduation, and I'm blessed and honored to be here today on behalf of Batch 2020 and 2021 graduates. Everything we've been through, everything we've accomplished, has led us to this momentous event and has made us into who we are today. This pandemic, however, has changed the panoramic view of life and success. This situation did not happen by chance nor by accident. It actually happened for a reason and a purpose. Be positive. The first person who has to believe in you is you. To begin with something requires hard work. There is always a room at the top. Most people want to improve themselves, but many don't want to work for it. Ambition looks up, failure looks down. I remember the analogy a friend told me, that nobody is going to bring it to you in the cafeteria of life. You have to go get it yourself, and you have to be willing to pay the price. Ladies and gentlemen, success in any endeavor is never an accident nor fate in heaven. Success is a shared meal with God in which the savor of what we eat comes to a full contentment only when we have work for its serving. In like manner, 
progress is likely to be on hand when ambition, dream, and hard work become a part of our life. We have so much to learn from our history and from our people. We too in this community and in the Commission will be at par with them if our motivation and purpose of molding is not tinted with selfish desire and personal interest. As an achiever and as a public servant, I encourage everyone to manifest selfless love because only from there that we can take a good smile, a sigh, and become calm. Having been nurtured in a university such as Cagayan State University, I appreciate the premise that an individual's cumulative actions can result in a fantastic end product. I am most fortunate and grateful that this university is filled with so many motivated people who make positive choices, which ultimately led to so many meaningful and productive actions. We need to create a vision whereby our name becomes synonymous with excellence, innovation, honor, integrity, and outstanding quality and service. That is, we need to promise less and deliver more every time. If we keep our vision simple yet goal-focused, then we will have turned defining our vision into a stepping stone one which we will use to reach even greater heights. We have so much to say and we have so much to thank for, but a part of this commemorative event says it all. Life has always been easy with the guidance of our professor and mentors amidst the trials and challenges we face. In a very special way, Due recognition is given to, to the Cagayan State University officials, headed by our University President, Dr. Urduha G. Alvarado, who stood there for helping us to build courage in us to conquer our fears. We have become brave and braver each day, ready to explore the difficulties of time. To all the professors of CSU Carib, who by the difficulties of time remained potent in the delivery of quality education and instill in us a fortitude to face whatever this pandemic may bring us. Our parents, who by their toiling hands brought us by the liberty and freedom to stand and fight for what we believe is right. After all, Education is liberating ourselves from ignorance. To the students and classmates whom we shared the good and the bad, may we together join our hands to open the door for better opportunity and the true, the good, and the beautiful. And lastly, to Almighty God, who kept us strong, alive, and healthy, after all the devastating incidents of COVID-19. Your name we praise. Mabuhay ang CSU. God bless us all and stay safe. Thank you, Dr. Rivera. At this point, the graduates shall take their solemn oath expressing devotion to their beloved alma mater, the Cagayan State University, to be led by Dr. Joanna Grizel and Ramil Cum Laude. My fellow graduates, please raise your right hand and follow after me. With God's divine grace, I pledge my loyalty to my alma mater, the Cagayan State University. With her as guide, I will practice my chosen career for the progress and prosperity of the society the betterment of humanity, the grandeur and dignity of my university. I do likewise pledge to continue my quest for knowledge, skills, proficiency in the arts, sciences, and technology until I will have achieved excellence in my calling and to safeguard my integrity, elevate my vocation, 
and exalt my alma mater. Our graduates will become automatic members of the CSU Carig Alumni Association to formally swear them in as legitimate members of the association, may we ask Dr. Andy L. Catulin, CSU Carig Alumni President, to administer the oath to the CSU Carig Alumni Association among the graduates. Please raise your right hand and follow after me. I state your name, a graduate of the Cagayan State University at Carig, do solemnly swear to faithfully and conscientiously fulfill my duties and responsibilities as member of the CSU Carig Alumni Association to preserve and defend its constitution to advance and uphold the name and ideals for which my alma mater stands to remain as a true alumnus at all times to do justice to every man and to consecrate myself to the service of my country and my God. Congratulations, graduates. Welcome to Cagayan State University Carig Alumni Association Incorporated. God bless you all. Thank you, Dr. Catulin. Ladies and gentlemen, that completes our 43rd academic convocation for the conferment of degrees and titles. Congratulations to our dear graduates and their very proud parents and relatives witnessing this very joyous event. To the graduates, continue to do your best in everything you aspire for in life. May you use the knowledge, values, skills, and talents acquired through CSU education to help us grow and prosper as a nation. Congratulations and our best wishes for a bright and happy future. May God bless us all. Ladies and gentlemen, the exit of colors. Thank you.